Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Bella of Bella Gitana Tarot. Hope you guys are doing well. Happy Friday. I know it's been a minute since my last video, but I've just been a busy bee. <laughs> but I just wanted to do a quick um, check-in for the Divine Masculine and the Karmic. Uh, just going to be very brief, so I'm not going to make it too lengthy, hopefully. But yeah, let's just find out what is going on. Angel spirits and guides, what is going on with the Divine Masculine? We're going to do him out here on the left side. And a karmic on the right. What is the Divine Masculine's energy at this time? Okay, so it says here, I'm ready in the present moment. So... He's ready in the present moment. He looks focused, okay? This is like a feminine energy coming through. So in the past few readings, I've noticed that he's been trying to suppress the feminine within him. So maybe this is meaning now that he's ready to finally uh, let her come to the surface and, you know, finally be in touch with his feelings. Bottom of the deck, we have Angels of Love ask. So... This could be that he's been asking the angels to help him, you know, to finally allow his feminine energy to come through. What else, spirit? Oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Judgment, karma. Okay, so I'm getting here that he's feeling like it's judgment day like now is go time now it's time to finally lay the cards on the table you know just really bring things to light that have been buried and it's coming it's like a rebirth i feel like he's had a brand new perspective here with love and compassion okay that's the feminine energy again one more look at that the stars make a wish just like we saw the angels ask angels okay He's making a wish that things can be better after heeding the call to do what's right, you know, within his feelings, like what he's feeling. Wow. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, we have Knight of Secrets, Betrayal, and Deception. So I'm getting here that he's trying to have faith that he can overcome this betrayal, this deception energy. I feel like this is tied to his inner child, okay, grief. He knows that this is something that brings him back to the past. You know, it could be inner child wounds where he's afraid of the judgment that's going to come about. So he's asking the angels and God and spirit to help him cross the threshold here, you know, to finally be in the present moment, to not be stuck in the past, right? To actually be in the present and not let ego run the show because the ego is telling him keep hush hush you know because it's going to lead to betrayal and deception and so he's deprogramming all of that what's going on with the karmic spirit okay we have the beginning decisive action so i'm getting here that she is finally making a choice you know, she's going through a door here. You know, an option has closed and another one has popped up for her. So we'll see, we'll see what this is about. But I feel like she's finally starting to see the option that's available for her to finally go through that door. And then we have strength and patience at the bottom. So I feel like this is something that she's been waiting for patiently and is finally here. Okay, one more spirit. Oh my gosh. Powerless, painful ending, okay? So I was just saying, like, she was trying to be patient for things to finally come through. And they finally have. So I'm getting here that she's feeling powerless because 
this decision basically is them having to end something, you know, like something went cold. Yeah, it's like queen of water clarity. Like now there's clarity that there has to be an ending here. And this is leading to a new beginning, which is going to be an exciting time. And both of those cards, she has her eyes closed. So she's trying to trust that everything is happening for a reason. And it came out on the side here. So I feel like this has been a struggle to be in this connection with the Divine Masculine. And I feel like she feels helpless because... And see how it landed on the Masculine side? So I feel like Spirit is saying here, she knows that he feels a different love in this present moment towards somebody else and it's not her. Yeah, so the God of Balance, Emotional Mastery, this is like the King of Cups in this deck. So it's like... She's noticing that some things are off balance here because the love that she wants is not here. Because you, you, saw, you saw how it landed over here, not on her side. And she knows she knows that the love that she really wants is, is over here, but it's not hers. So she knows that the masculine feels a big love for his divine feminine. Wow. Look at that. And I accidentally... Put, shuffle and look at this at the bottom abandonment so she's definitely feeling abandoned you know because she knows that there's nothing she can do because he still feels his love for the feminine and not her it's not that kind of love you know wow let's get one card here to summarize the masculine spirit what is he feeling okay so it came out on the side so i feel like he's struggling to believe that things could change it says here honey child abundance fertility belief succor uh i don't know how you say it sucker <laughs> growth warmth beginnings in your prime so i feel like he's struggling to be in his prime you know what i mean like to be warm that's a feminine energy but i feel like now in the present moment he knows that he has to give birth to this feminine energy or else she's going to not be able to come out at all. And he's fixing to do this. Get to it. Go get it. Required and inspired action. Now is the time. Readiness. Follow through. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is no accident. I'm ready. And, and they almost look the same. And see how the car keeps flying off? <laughs> like, he's so excited to make something happen. The cars keep flying off. Um... He's he's ready to finally chase, okay? Because we have the cat and mouse here. Now is the time. Readiness. Follow through. He wants to follow through on pursuing. The honey child also reminds me of the empress. You know, because he was up to, up until this point, he was barking up the wrong tree. This is a dead end with the, with the karmic. Dead end, stalemate, not now. Lack of clarity, perspective shift needed. Okay. Wow. Okay. One card for the karmic spirit. Aren't you precious? Suffering fools, disdain, displeasure, aggravation, read between the lines, poking fun. So yeah, she's not happy. You know, this decision that it's ending and that the love is not here with her and it's instead it is with the feminine is making her aggravated. You know, it's like she can read between the lines and she's smiling but deep down, she's not happy. She's like trying to say face. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. She's not trying to say anything about it. She's very silent. It says here, hush up, silence, discretion, contemplation, equanimity, consideration, privacy. Okay. Like she is keeping things hush, hush. We saw that card earlier where that guy was hushing too, which was the betrayal and deception card. So she is trying to uh save face but she knows this is over okay let's get one more here summary so for the masculine look at that it says meow having fun trying to fit in being playful modeling after others being whimsical free spirited okay so he wants to be independent you know also the meow energy is the feminine energy right being like that feline <laughs> Finally take a chance and feel his feminine energy. Go for it. Good chance. Set your intention for a positive outcome. You can't win if you don't play. Okay. Wow. What about the karmic spirit?
Okay. It says here, wife, partner, interested in, love of a lifetime, wedding or event, a commitment or advancement. But look at this. Bottom of the deck, we have playing the field, still meeting, dating other people, seeing each other, being a player, games being played. So this karma could be a wife to the divine masculine, doesn't have to be. They could be engaged. But I feel like she's still interested in holding on to this commitment. But at the same time, she could very well be playing the field, you know, still trying to talk to other guys because she knows there's no love here. So she could be lining up the next person that she wants to talk to after the masculine's gone. Um, games are being played, you know what I mean? Like, it, this is pretty much done. <laughs> Let's get a shadow for the masculine and the karma experience. What's a shadow? What's a shadow energy? Okay, look at that silence. We saw silence earlier on her side. So up until this point, I feel like he knows he's ready to finally come out and, and be playful. I feel like on one hand, he wants to speak up and let his feminine finally come through and speak out his feelings. But he's very insecure about how he's feeling. So he's he's afraid that he's going to be shut out um, if he expresses what he's feeling so this is why he's trying to make a wish that something will happen like divine intervention or something that he can finally do it and not think too much and look at that she's very disappointed i mean we did see that earlier with aggravated disdain displeasure okay so she's not very happy in this connection look at that because nothing's happening it's stagnant nobody is speaking okay i mean it's just they're both not speaking. Look at that. The, ma the, the masculine side has a feminine not speaking, right? Even though he knows he's ready to finally pounce on this opportunity to speak up. But he's struggling to believe in himself that is going to help him move forward to the next level. And over here, she's disappointed that, that he's not speaking. And it's almost like she doesn't want to speak up because she doesn't want to be shocked like it's almost like she wants to be in that ignorance is bliss type of energy let's get a tarot card even though these are tarot but let's just see what else comes out and then we'll wrap it up okay <laughs> okay interesting we have the the moon in reverse okay so that's usually about a secret that's coming out and then the Six of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups in reverse. So yeah, I feel like he's afraid of moving forward because there's a divorce pending here. You know, Ten of Cups reverse is like a breakup. Like there's no happiness here. Oh my God, he got judgment again, twice, you guys. But he knows this is, this is something that he's been called to do, okay? To fight for what he believes in, which is his feminine energy you know also it's it's the divine feminine he wants to fight for her but he's feeling stuck what about the karmic spirit what is this dissolution energy look at that nine of swords so she's been very much in her head and stressed out about this ending that's happening. Nine stands for endings too. Princess of Swords is the Page of Swords. She's keeping an eye on things, okay, especially on the masculine. But she knows that this is over. Look at that Queen of Swords, okay? Like she had to cut somebody off or she knows she's going to be cut off. And she's disappointed that she can't think her way out of this situation because it's already unfolding. Look at that, the Hierophant with the Five of Swords at the bottom, okay? And look at that, the Death card. <laughs> so this is already signifying there's conflict, there's strife here in this connection and it's leading to an ending. That's double confirmation about this painful ending here. This is usually the Ten of Swords in this deck, Powerless. So she's feeling powerless. There's nothing she can do. And she's trying to line up the next person that she wants to talk to to kind of soften the blow of this connection ending.
Yeah, look at that. He's he's cutting her off. We saw the Queen of Swords earlier. Now we have the King of Swords. So I'm getting here that she knows she's grieving now because this is also the the solar eclipse energy we just had. Okay, the Ring of Fire. Do you guys see that? Um, so this is basically something that's happened recently as a result of this lunar phase that we just went through that was really, really strong. Okay. So that is the reading, guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, comment below if you like to give me your feedback. Also, if you like to book a reading, you can do so by clicking on the link below. And uh, <laughs> I hope that gives you some insight. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.